Hello everybody and welcome to another post-commentary episode because, uh, yeah, <laughs> sometimes I'm really bad at commentary and I, yeah, I listened to the, the uh, narration and thought, well, I'm not gonna have it. So this is another post-recording um, commentary episode, whatever you'd call it. And um, this one's actually very short because um spinning up time and stuff. So, um, and in this episode I'm going to place a redstone and um, building the spawners. So the basic idea or, or the basic design for these spawners, um, especially the one for uh, the cave spiders, uh, was taken from a, a video I found somewhere on YouTube. Maybe I can I um, can can link it in the description in case I, I find it again. But the basic uh, design um, uses a crusher, and uh, so you just suffocate the um, spiders down to one or half a heart, one heart. Um, yeah, it depends on what the, what the timer can give you. Uh, so the usual design was to uh, my design that I used was to just let the drop. So I flushed in this case the, the zombies or the um, the skeletons. I just did let them drop, or maybe with a strange um, sign and water construction, I and transported them up, and then did let them uh, drop a specific height to that did let them only one uh, one heart or half a heart. Problem with spiders, they tend to climb walls. Um, the way they work in game is that they when they want to get you to you, they always climb up walls. So um, dropping them will not work because they can uh, can climb walls, and they will actually do this hole. They are supposed to drop down. They will climb up again. So um, I found a video somewhere on YouTube uh, which used again a flush system but uh, a, a crusher and I decided to use the same design to um, crush the zombies because otherwise I would have a too big of a uh, height uh, difference and I expanded myself to a a add some lights in there because I want to be able to shut down the spawner uh, in case I want to do maintenance. There's no maintenance to do here, but um, I want to have these options and having a bunch of spiders is uh, in the one room is very inconvenient, so I added some, some, some lights. Um, so I get one light above the spawner, one light uh, below the spawner, and um, Four, two, two, two in each each corner. So I think ten lights per uh, spawner, and the water since uh, we we can can have it um, is done with uh, that's either dispensers or droppers. I don't know. Probably dispensers. Um, so I can switch off the water, I can um, switch off this spawner itself by switching on some some lights. And I've built that um, spawner design in creative, which you I think saw a minute ago. Um, I've built that several times to test out how to wire the uh, the redstone, how to um, set up the timer, did some, some timer testing and uh, then I 
went into creative mode, into a, a new world, searched for a spawner, <coughs> and um, again built just no 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 timing, but just the um, spawn room itself. So I think I've built this about five times um, in total. <laughs> a spawner with a room around. And uh, uh, yeah, it's the the, the redstone stuff is um, it's a little bit complicated to build for me while talking, and I think that's the what I fear is the most compact version, and it actually takes very quite a, a long time to build this in, in a survival world um, than it takes to build it in, in creative because I can float around, I have to pay attention to where I, where I uh, maybe fall down into to magma and uh, so yeah I think I've spent several hours just trying to build this spawn room and so the idea is that I have one switch to at least for the for the spiders one switch to cut off the floor of spiders and another switch to um, crush them and then one switch to uh, switch on the light and another switch to switch on and switch off um, the water and I hope it works um, I still need to do um, a final test and, and some some walling and uh, some some even some some designs for the room where these spawners will be it's now it's just a, now it's just a floating construction uh construction whatever inside uh that hold out mine shaft uh yeah so <laughs> that's it in um fast mode <laughs> i'm testing here the timing and if the timer works. Yeah, but that's it for this episode. See you next time. Bye-bye.